It's migration season here in the Keys, so birds often take center stage. They're taking center stage of the show right now, as you can see behind me. The 14th annual Florida Keys Birding and Wildlife Festival will be taking place all month. The core events are scheduled for the 25th through the 30th. Christy, thank you for being on the show to talk with us this morning about the festival. Well, thank you for having us here. Well, it's wonderful having you here. And now our viewers, all the pictures that they see behind us, this will be something that they can see if they attend the festival, right, Christy? Absolutely. This is the common birds and wildlife of the Florida Keys. So if you see them on these photos, there's a very good chance you'll see them during the activities of the Birding and Wildlife Festival. Wonderful. Now let's talk a little bit about the festival. Christy, this is the 14th annual. How's the response always? The response is usually very, very uh, enthusiastic from both locals and visitors. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a neat, there's not a whole lot of events going on at this time of the year, so it's a neat way of um, energizing the keys, both visitors and, and, and locals alike. Okay, let's talk about everything that will be taking place. Well, there's a, there's a lot of activities that are taking place. So if, um, and here's your chance to, to really get outdoors and have some fun and, and really understand uh, the wealth of natural resources that we have that surround us here in the Florida Keys. I don't know if most people know, but we have uh, four national wildlife refuges here. We have 10 or 11 state parks. We're surrounded by three national parks on the edges. And then the sanctuary surrounds us all. So really, um, we have this really unique kind of opportunity that a lot of people in a lot of areas don't have. And, and we're looking for people um, to, to take advantage of that and, and get outdoors and just kind of get some fresh air and, and have some fun and, and see some neat birds, wildlife, and, and botanical gardens and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that there will be a keynote speaker at this event. Yes, um, typically we have a keynote speaker that we bring in and he's usually or she's usually a, a nationally known person. Um, this time, uh, Bill Thompson III is the editor of Birdwatcher's Digest and it's a, um, a magazine that showcases birds and other wildlife. He, this, he's also recently written a, a children's book on birding and the importance of getting your children outdoors. And so he, one of the talks that he'll be given will be um, about that very thing. Okay, and now where are some of these events taking place, Christy? Um, the Birding and Wildlife Festival is truly a Keys-wide event. Like, we have events up and down the Florida Keys, um, all the way from Key Largo down to Key West and out to the Dry Tortugas, so, and, and points all throughout there. So you have no excuse to mm -hmm. saying, well, this stuff's up in Key Largo or this stuff's down in Key West. Um, there's, there's events that take place in your community. Mm -hmm. Okay, now have you always been into the wildlife? and birding down here in the Keys, Christy, yourself? Personally? I have, and I think that is in part because my parents kind of instilled that um, kind of interest and enthusiasm in me. Um, and so we're hoping that um, some of our, our local Keys residents will take the opportunity to get their kids outdoors as well. Um, but, but I always have, and I think it, it, it does stem back to that. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part of the whole festival, Christy? My, uh, you know, there's a lot of different really neat parts. We have um, a trip that goes out to the Dry Tortugas that, depending on whether you're a, a, a more of a birding fanatic or whether you're more of a um, photography um, type oriented person, there's a really great thing. There's a, there's an all day family event at Curry Hammock State Park that is free. We have music, we have hands on activities for kids. We have free t-shirts and things like that for people that, that come there. Um, and there's just, it's hard to pick a favorite part because there are so many neat. There's not only evening presentations, but there's chances to get out, on the, out in the woods or out on boats and things like that. So there's a lot of different opportunities depending on what your interest is. Okay, and if people want more information, they can contact the number on the bottom of the screen. They can also shoot an email to the address you see right Absolutely. there. Absolutely, and we're, we're taking registration right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and our, on our website, we have um, a program that lists all of our activities and as well as, um, you know, we, we do have the, the Gmail address there. If you guys have questions, mm -hmm. anybody has questions or things, you can either call me or email us mm -hmm. and we can provide further information. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing photos from this year's event. Great. These photos are beautiful, Christy. <laughs> well, I do want to thank I have some co-workers, Tom Wilmers and Chad Anderson, who were nice enough to donate these for our, our background things. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, 
It was nice of those guys to share their photos because yeah, it, it really does. We have some fantastic creatures down here, mm -hmm. um, and, and we want people to get out and, and, and see the, not only the birds, but the butterflies and the alligators and the, you know, the creatures that we have here that are unique to this, mm -hmm. this part of the, you know, that other people don't have the opportunity to see. Right. We're blessed here in the Keys. Right? We are. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for being on and sharing all this information. And that's going to do it for me this morning. I thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.